Hello. Uh, welcome to a quick implementation for try. Uh, the question is implement a try with insert, search, and start with methods. Um, so a try is a data structure uh, used mainly um, as a collection of strings. Uh, it's used uh, in word dictionaries. Uh, it's a tree data structure. Um, there will be a quick visualization. Uh, I'll go through that uh, and through the code. Um, so a try is made up of try nodes, uh, similar to a B tree uh, or a BST, just made up of nodes. So let's create these uh, try nodes first. So uh, each try node is made up of uh, children's, which is basically a hash map um, and a Boolean variable called end of word, which indicates that we have come to the last character of the word. Um, so before I go in, let, let me show you a visualization. Um, this is a sample try uh, that I just created. Uh, let me go ahead and create a new try. Um, so this here is the root, which is an empty uh, try node. And let's insert something into this try. Uh, you are a reborn. Uh, let's insert this. So first it checks whether it contains the character B. If it doesn't, then it uh, creates a new try node. Uh, and then it checks whether it contains the character U. Um, and if it isn't present in the children of B, then it goes and creates a new uh, try node. And so on for the other characters. Um, the thing to note here is that the last character, uh, it has a blue border. Uh, which uh, basically will indicate in a code through this end of word boolean variable. Uh, so this blue border indicates that the word, uh, you've come to the end of that word. It's the last character of the word that you've inserted. Uh, and this is pretty useful, especially while we are searching a string in the try. Uh, let's insert another word, uh, LMM. So first it looks whether the, you know, the try contains the word L, if it doesn't goes on creates L, same for M and same for N, um, and again you will notice N is, uh, the board of N is blue in color. Let's insert a word uh, which has a common ancestor, uh, let's insert bull. So again, it checks uh, B is present, U is present, but L is not present. So it goes on to create uh, nodes for the other characters. Um, and it goes on and on. Uh, like I explained for, uh, I can't actually scroll to the bottom, but I'm pretty sure T will be for the U as well. So I hope that gives you a, a basic idea of uh, the try data structure and the insert functionality. Um, the try class here that I've created um, will have one instance variable that's root and we'll initialize it to an empty try node. Okay, let's write the code for insert. We'll have a local variable current uh, which will refer to uh, the root uh, instance variable first and then we'll iterate over the word we want to insert if the character uh, not in uh, the current's children then it's basically looking for the character in, in the children hash map if it isn't in uh, current uh, children then we create a new uh, try node for that character and insert it uh, 
in shooting instruments where they look like cavalry. Uh, and this goes on. Um, if uh, and then we update basically uh, the character to be the current, so this should be like this, right here. And at the end of the iteration, we indicate the end of word uh, to be true. Uh, this is it for the insert functionality. Now let's go for the search functionality. Uh, the intuition behind search and insert is pretty much the same. Uh, so if I want to search the word uh, LMN, it basically looks in the roots children, L is present, and we look for the child M, and then we look for the child N. But the important thing is that at the end you look where uh, this is. The end of the word uh, Boolean variable for this node is true or not. Uh, this is a very important differentiator uh, between these two methods, um, search and start with. Uh, basically, we want to check uh, that the prefix should not be a word, should not be a complete word, right? Uh, this would be helpful in finding common ancestors, like right here. Um, so here, you, you know, uh, if you think about it, this is, uh, you know, how dictionaries work. We, we start with the prefix and then we go to the uh, next word in the word, uh, next character in the word, and so on. So let's write the code. Um, initialize the current uh, to the uh, variable to the root, uh, point it to the root, um, and then we iterate for the character in the word. If the character is not in uh, current of children, we basically return false. Well, so for example, if we are looking for the word L M Q, let's just say L Q. It'll look for M, it'll find M, but if it doesn't find Q, look out fail, right? Q is not found, and that's what this code indicates. And we'll update the current uh, in the iteration to uh, this. And at the end, we'll return current end of word. Uh, so this is a differentiator between, uh, as I told, this is a differentiator, this current end of word that we return. This is a differentiator between these two functions. Um, and I hope you understand why. Um, I'll just go over it one more time. There it is. Uh, the code is very similar. So you can reuse the code here. You can write a help or, help or a utility method that just iterates over it. And that returns false and updates current to the kind of children uh, of that. Uh, character Q. So we, uh, for example, if we are looking for prefix, uh, the common prefix between uh, uh, view, for example, we want view not to be the end of the word, and that's why uh, we return true here. We ha we want to make sure that the prefix is not a complete word; it's a prefix. So here's the code. Uh, let's just run and uh, run the code. Oh, it's actually pending. Okay, self is not defined. And line four, which is interesting. That should be itself, yeah. Um, Okay, it has no attribute children because it's children's. Uh, yeah, I hope this takes care of all the errors. Uh, no, yeah, prefix. Not a word root. Let's run it. Okay, we, we are going to wait for five seconds. Um, I hope you understood uh, everything. I'll actually link uh, to this visualization website in the comments. Uh, so if you want to take a look. Oh, it's a very interesting data structure, right? Um, and it's, 
actually taught in uh, advanced data structures class um, in my university. So uh, I uh, let's see, I'm try to submit this again. Oops, accepted. So uh, thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave a comment. Bye.